a little dusting of snow, some cold weather. Kind of the perfect way to end this year with my very last video of this year. Yeah, not a bad way to finish up. Actually cold enough I had to get a hot drink, keep my hands warm. <laughs> but this video isn't about me, this video is about Holly. So, well, meet Holly. <laughs> if you know how this series goes, well, Holly has a couple of things that are happening with her hair. We could call them mistakes. And uh, those mistakes are robbing some of that vibrant glow, some of that youthfulness, that whatever you want to call it, from Holly. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through exactly what those mistakes are. And more importantly, how you can address them or how Holly can address them. And then I'll actually show you on photos of Holly exactly what those mistakes would look like if you did address them with my suggestions. I feel like that was way more confusing than it had to be. I hope you got that. Okay, but this is going to be a little bit different of a video for this series in that Holly was nice enough to actually send me an email along with these photos. And after I read that email, which you're gonna hear in just a second, I realized that there's gonna be actually more value for everybody here if I address these mistakes and kind of speak more to some suggestions that I would have for the route that Holly wants to take. Um, so there will be some curveballs where we show different styles that I would recommend that I think would be great on Holly, as well as exactly what the different suggestions will look like on Holly if she follows them, like I said. Um, but let me read you the email so that you know what I'm talking about. It'll make a whole lot more sense here in just a second. So here's the email. So the email says, hi, Justin, I will be turning a young 65 next month. Hold on. Wait a minute. Can we just all collectively one agree that 65 is not old, but more importantly, uh, Holly, you are not 65. You look 30, and I'm going with the fact that you must be 30, so you're 30. <laughs> but nonetheless, I have had my hair in a pixie for a while, and I'm now growing it out. I do like it a little long, hides my wrinkles, we're our own worst critics for sure, and the auburn color I like too. I've had it blonde, black, almost white. I can't decide if bangs are for me. I start growing them out, then I cut them. I did have my back trimmed up, as one of your videos suggested it, I appreciate that. Thank you for the confidence there. Uh, and I love watching the videos. Should have been a hairdresser, not a realtor. Who knows? Maybe you're missing your calling, right? <laughs> this is the perfect time to kind of walk you guys through a process of mistakes that are happening. But realistically, they're happening because it's a shorter shape growing into a longer shape. So what I want to do with this video is actually walk you through my process for kind of how to address growing your hair out. Why don't we dive into some of the mistakes that are happening? Okay, so let's talk about these mistakes. Now, mistake number one is simply that it's a little bit too long for this shape. Okay, so I, that kind of doesn't really make any sense, right? Because I just told you that she's trying to grow her hair out. So of course, we're gonna need some length. But here's why I say this is kind of a mistake. In many cases, the way you layer hair when it's shorter is very different than how you can layer hair as it gets longer. And if you layer hair the same way as it gets longer, you'll likely find that it will start to get very thin at the bottom and ultimately not support the overall shape. So when you look at this photo right here, what you're seeing is that the bottom is just a little bit too layered and creating a little bit of this thinness at the bottom. Now, as that gets longer, the bigger concern is that it'll look thinner and that length won't support any sort of layering or any real internal shape. Many times that length, when it's thin like that, the bottom can have a tendency to look a little bit more damaged, even when it's not. So if we actually bring this length up a little bit and take some of those ends off, we can kind of back up to get a little bit stronger at that length and start to grow out again with a stronger length to start with. So that takes us into mistake number two. Now, mistake number two is that the layers are just a little bit too short on top. Now, I've talked about this in multiple other videos, but having the length on the top layers match or balance with the length, the actual length of the hair, is a huge deal. It really allows us to create shape that is more flattering for you. So in this particular case, that little bit of volume that she's getting on top from those layers is actually enhancing more of a squareness in the shape. It's drawing more attention to fullness on the sides around the cheeks and not creating the overall shape that we want to see, which would be having a little bit more volume around the temples and ultimately just creating a more fluttering shape in general. Now, mistake number three is not really having enough volume. Okay, now here's the interesting part about this. <laughs> I actually think that Holly could wear a sleek 
style very well. Her face shape works for it. Her overall look works for it. And now I'm really going to step out on a limb here though right now. So kind of bear with me, but looking at this photo or the different photos that she sent and looking at the background of her home, it looks to me like her home has a bit of a modern yet still very elegant decor. So with that said, many times a sleeker look can have a really elegant, strong, modern feel all at the same time. So I actually think if that is something that she would be comfortable in, I think some shapes like that could look really good. However, in this particular circumstance, what we're seeing is that it's just a little too sleek for this overall shape. If we're gonna move into a sleeker shape, it needs to be a little bit more on the geometric side. Now, you're gonna understand a little bit more about what I'm explaining right now when we get to the photos where I'm gonna show you what these different suggestions look like. But right now, for this particular shape and the idea of getting it long, having a little bit more volume in certain areas will help to draw more attention to cheek structure, but also help to just overall lift your eye and create a more flattering appeal. Mistake number four is that the bangs are a tiny bit too short and a little bit too square. Now, I know that Holly has been struggling with the idea of whether or not she can wear bangs. And Holly, I would tell you that absolutely, I think you can wear bangs. Here's the interesting part. You can wear a lot of different kinds of bangs, but it just so happens right now that these strong straight across bangs are creating a little bit more of that square appeal and ultimately just drawing more width to your cheeks versus accentuating cheek structure. So I would actually bring these bangs up a little bit on this corner and a little bit lower on this corner, create a little bit more of an angle to help offset that squareness and end you with a bang in this particular length range that would suit you a little bit more. Okay, now with all of those said, let's get into the suggestions so I can show you what these different shapes would look like and why I think it would make a strong impact for Holly. And then at the very end, as always, we'll be talking about some curveballs, or really in this case, kind of walking through the process of different shapes that she can grow her hair out into. Okay, so what would these suggestions actually look like on Holly's hair if we applied them? Well, the first problem that we came up with was the fact that it was just a little bit too long. So this is what it would look like if we brought that length up a little bit. Now, I know this is a bob shape, <laughs> but the reason I did this specifically is because typically speaking, when I have a client in the salon and they're trying to grow their hair out from a shorter look to a longer look, and we don't really have an end game in sight, I like to try to get them into a bob and then grow them out from a bob into longer shapes. And the purpose for this is twofold. One is that bobs have a tendency to grow out very well, but more importantly, they're also a very sleek, elegant, and fun look. So it, this way we're working people through different hairstyles versus just trying to get extra length. Now, especially in Holly's case, this happens to be a look that, like I said before, would work really well for her from the perspective of it looks like it fits into kind of her style, if you will. Now, again, this is something I could be off on, but regardless of that, I would still move towards this direction just to get these particular ends off so that the baseline looks a little bit thicker anyway. Then we talked about the length on top being too short and creating a little bit more of a square look and not having quite enough volume overall internally. So if we let those, for instance, layers grow out a little bit and created volume kind of where we wanna create volume for that kind of bob shape, if you will, this is what that would look like. Now, I do want to preface this one and the next one, which is kind of about the bangs, in that for whatever reason, in Photoshopping for this particular edit, it doesn't really do the overall look justice. Again, this is kind of a scenario of the Photoshopping just not really being able to achieve the amount of movement and texture that you would see in this particular shape. So kind of keep that in mind moving forward, especially when we talk about the bangs, that overall it would actually look, in my opinion, much better in real life than it does here, but these photos do give you kind of an insight as to how the overall volume would look and how the bangs would kind of change the face shape, etc. So yes, as you can see with adding more volume here, we are kind of alleviating some of that illusion of volume on the sides, some of that overall squareness, and creating a little bit more accentuation to cheek structure, which helps to lift the eye and overall, in my opinion, just have a little bit more of a flattering appeal. 
Now, the last thing that we talked about was the bangs and how the bangs are a little, little bit too square. So if we did kind of angle those a little bit more, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, this gives it a little bit less of that width through the cheeks and creates a little bit more of a draw to cheek structure. Now, again, before I mentioned that, Holly, you can wear multiple different styles of bangs. So don't think that this is your only option. This is just one option that is basically in the same length range as what you're currently dealing with. So it's not going to be too much of an overall stretch. OK, now, you know me, though, I don't like to leave you dry without giving you some sort of curveballs. And so since we are talking about a situation where Holly is trying to grow her hair out, I wanted to show you some longer shapes or longer than her hair is now that she could wear that would be fantastic. All of these different shapes would lend themselves very well to her overall aesthetic, in my opinion. I think that they would all look great. They would all work from a visual standpoint in terms of creating the correct shape for her face shape. But more importantly, I think they would all work for her hair and for the kind of vibe I guess I'm getting, if all that makes sense. <laughs> I gotta say that I love this color on, on her. Holly, I think this is a fantastic color for your skin tone. I think it looks great on you. I think it's edgy and fun, but at the same time, it still has a polished feel. It's not overboard. So I do think it still has that elegance that lends itself very well to the kind of elegant yet edgy kind of feel. So I think you're doing a great job with the color. Could there be some different things that you could do that would also be great? Yeah, but I wouldn't go out of my way to try to change this because I think this already works very well. I am loving this little snow furry. I'm just going to let you know that right out of the gate. <laughs> okay, so with all that said, you know how it goes. I always want to know, what do you think? So comment below. Do you think she should grow her hair out? Do you think she should stay in kind of that bob range? And if she was going to do something with, different with her color, what do you think she should do? I think that's a good question. All right, well, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to head in that direction, or I might hang out here. At least there's more than just a top of a gas station for me to look at this time. Got a lake. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to hang out and uh, yes, comment below, let me know. Otherwise, you guys know I will see you next year in my next video, which is like six days from now. So whatever. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>